cannot contain my excitement. I have had the most autumnal, amazing, cozy, foggy, misty, blustery day. <laughs> All of my absolute favorite kinds of days combined. I've just been putting little touches of fall decor here and there around my bedroom and I'm so, so happy. I had a bag of fall things in my attic and I wasn't really sure what was in there because I didn't decorate at all last year, but I was really happy that I still have these glass pumpkins that I absolutely love. One is smaller. It's this really cute crackled glass and then it has a brown stem. I like that this is just very simple. It's super muted. It's not like loud and in your face because I feel like there's a line with fall decor. I'm very, very, very picky about the kind of fall decor I like. I don't know how to describe what it is. I just know it when I see it. And I think these two pumpkins are about as much home sense as I can take. I love going to home sense to get some inspiration at this time of year. But when you walk down an entire aisle full of like 50 of these, you realize they're just not that special. So I will not be buying any more, but this one this is the real showstopper because it is beautiful. It's this really, really pretty like jade color kind of sea foam. I actually have a lot, a lot of this color in my bedroom. I didn't know I liked this color so much, but it's become a bit of a thing for me in the past few years. Very, very muted in my bedroom because it just kind of blends in with everything else. Welcome to a brand new vantage point. I now have a desk in my bedroom, which I'm very excited about. I went to the dollar store to peruse the Halloween aisle, which I don't always do. I don't really like shopping at the dollar store unless I have to, especially in terms of like decorations and things that you don't actually need. I tend to just either make things or shop secondhand, but the one $2 item that I couldn't resist was these little wooden jack-o-lantern ornaments to paint so i got them i could have just made these out of cardboard actually now that i have them i don't know why i didn't do that but it's too late now so i'm gonna do a little diy with them to make them look like old antique sort of like i'm really into this like vintage kitschy halloween this year which is very unlike me but i think in very minimal doses it can work well. So my idea for these, I have some supplies gathered. I think what I'm gonna do is take some tissue paper. I kind of want these to look like they're paper mache. So I think I wanna take some tissue paper and then kind of smush it around here and soak it in glue. Or I think I could honestly maybe even use a glue stick, I'm not sure. And then I have two really nice colors of craft paint this is from craft smart which i don't know if this is just like michael's brand like their in-house brand but that's where i got it and it is orange spice it's like this burnt orange color which i really like and then this one is olive green so i think i'm gonna do half orange half green and then i have some black to possibly do some shading and then if i can locate it i think i have mod podge so i'm gonna put mod podge on either as a final coat or mix it with the paint so that it has like a little bit of a glossy sort of finish. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. This could turn out like garbage. We will see. <laughs> After some trial and error, I have realized that strips is the way to go. Just like good old paper mache, except I'm not being neat about it, I'm just smushing the strips on.
I absolutely love how that pumpkin garland turned out. I think the Mod Podge gave it a really fun effect. I feel like they look like old tin ornaments or something like that and I just love the way they look. Now I'm gonna do just a really quick little DIY. You can see behind me here beside my bed I have this collection of small frames. These are all frames that I've kind of thrifted over time and either found really cute prints in them or I've replaced them with something new. In the two circle frames right here I have two pumpkin stickers that came out of this antiquarian sticker book which I absolutely love and those just stay up there all year round as kind of my ode to how much I love fall and so I thought I would continue the theme I have this little frame which I really love the thing that I especially love about it is this like scalloped detail along the edges and the mat is also really cute too I might keep that in there the picture that came in this was so creepy it was like this really creepy little boy and that is long gone now I couldn't keep it it wasn't an original or anything it was just a print but I was thinking of what I could put in this and I have a collection of old Nancy Drew books and I remembered that they have like the odd illustration in them so I perused through them and I wanted to make sure I could get one that wouldn't like actually disrupt any of the pages which some of them are very very cute like something like this would be perfect for this frame except unfortunately it has text on the back of it but in the very front of these books there is one illustration that kind of hints at the story so I think I'm going to use this one. It's from The Hidden Staircase, a personal childhood favorite. This is book two of the Nancy Drew series. And I'm just going to simply cut it out, stick it in this frame, and hang it up behind me. Mm -hmm. 